this is Pacific Tomatoes 2018 uh, soil prep. Um, they're prepping this field for probably fall crop 2018 tomatoes. Right now they've got their 8420 uh, John Deere with a land plane um, leveling a field out uh, before it's get uh, finished prep for tomatoes. It's already been disked several times and it'll be disked again after they run over this land plane a couple of times. Basically a land plane just smooths the field out. It fills in the low areas um, and takes out the high spots. I'm not sure what brand name plane this is. It'd be a lot better if I was on the other side of it because there was no way to get there. Uh, you can see this thing consists of a bunch of uh, greater blades that move the soil from one side to the other. Filling in the low spots and cutting down the high spots. They go over this field usually two times with these planes before they uh, prepare it for bedding of tomatoes. This 8420 has kind of had its, seen its better days. I know of, uh, it's had two issues with it uh, before because they've redone the hood on this thing, I know, twice. I don't know if they had a turbo fire or a fire under the hood of some sort. It got hot or something, but it cooked the paint off of it one time. They fixed it, and it, I don't know if it happened again, but it looks pretty damn ratty on the hood part. It still runs great. And it's set up with, uh, if I'm not mistaken, those are 650, uh, 38 tires. Uh, they're pretty damn wide for a row crop tractor. But that tractor, the only thing it does is run a harrow, or run one of these land planes. It's a tillage tractor only. I'm hoping once he gets down this field just a little ways that you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Once he turns this corner, maybe the dust will be blowing the opposite direction. I get a lot of comments asking why they spend so much time and money, effort for a crop that's going in beds, leveling the fields out, and mold board plowing, even though there's no um, nothing there to really plow in. And the reasons I've been given over the years are why they mold board plow all these tomato fields. Even though this particular farm does not mold board plow, they will chisel plow some, but they do not mold board plow. But 
every other tomato farmer that I know that I'm familiar with does moldboard plow before they plant a uh, bed for tomatoes. And it's because the, the cost of growing a crop of tomatoes. By the time labor, land rent, and all the other uh, uh, input costs are added into it, I've been told from a couple of different sources that it's around $10,000 an acre to plant, do all the tillage, um, and harvest and everything. It's around $10,000 an acre to grow the crop. This is another one of Pacific Tomatoes is uh, tractors. Uh, it's an 8,000R series. I'm not exactly sure what which what the number is on it, uh, but it's doesn't have its duals on right now. And it's basically run after they run over these fields after they run this land plane across them. Uh, just kind of loosen the soil back up a little bit, and then following that, they. tractor here. They run one of their 7000 series uh, John Deere with a guest time field cultivator across them and that's the last step of the leg um, uh, the rows off um, after this tractor pass, makes its passes across the field they'll be laying different lines off to be uh, bedded up. Also on this way, this land plane is uh, made you only run it um, counterclockwise it's just the way this the the actual uh, blades are set up on there it throws the dirt on that last blade towards the uh, the left side if you're sitting in the uh, driver's seat or the side I'm on right now and they just keep going around and around and around the field um, until they get it smoothed out. Not all of them are made that way. This particular t uh, brand is set up that way. And today's weather conditions, it's about 80 degrees out. Uh, winds pretty steady at about 15 miles an hour with gusts probably around 20. Tomorrow's supposed to be about 5 degrees cooler with about 10 more miles an hour on wind. Looks like we got another front that's going to be coming through our area this Sunday, bringing us some more rain. We had about half and a half to three quarters of an inch last weekend. But with our sandy soils, they dry out pretty fast.
And that's basically how these land planes work. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and check out some of my other videos.